What is up guys? Heath with Lake Champlain Sanitation here and on today's video we're going to get into how much money can you make with five roll-off dumpsters, one trailer, and one truck that you double use. You're going to use it to either go to your day job or you're going to use it to go to and from the grocery store as well as drop your dumpsters off. We got a couple dumpsters in the yard. They're all going out this morning. This guy over here uh, we are charging. So I have power out there. Um, I know a lot of you have said run it off the truck we're not there yet so we might be going hook lift next year we're not too sure but we got power outside we got the shop that we can use that we share with the landlord and of course we got the office tyler's truck he's out in the 5500 today and dad will be coming to grab the single cab 2500 and uh and deliver a couple of these dumpsters i'm gonna load up the 20 yard and go do a couple junk removal jobs with it before i drop it off later this morning but five dumpsters that's what we're talking about today guys five dumpsters how much can you make how much are you going to invest to get into it um and what what can your profits and your gross revenues look like one new thing we got done guys since the last video or since you've seen it last is we painted the sides on our larger dumpster let me know what you guys think in the comments personally i think having it all blacked out looks a lot more uniform a lot more professional um, like I said, let me know what you think about that. All we did was just use a brush uh, and a rattle can and uh, paint it up real quick. A few bucks makes it look a lot cleaner. So I told you guys that I'd be showing you the office. It's not really a big tour to show. Um, obviously, I have way more space in here than I need. Um, pretty much operating out of this corner right now. I uh, just got a standard desktop printer some binders we're going to do dot paperwork in those to keep everything uh, in check filing cabinets extra supplies uh, dumpsters to go out dumpsters to pick up i'm um, just using these sticky note things for now guys uh, i'm looking into a software like i said before we might demo that in the future um, but yeah not too much of an interior tour other than the shop which i'm not going to show you guys today because the landlord does have stuff in there they're working in there right now um but we have access to that we got a bathroom a little mini kitchen uh out here but like i said that's all in their area that we're sharing but this is the ops center if you will and uh down the road depending on how big we grow um we will utilize this whole space. Uh, but again, I am using this space mainly for the outside yard and the shop. This office is just a bonus. So without further ado, we got our whiteboard here. We are going to hop in to some numbers. Uh, just want to show you guys um, goals up here are very, a big thing I've been getting into for 2021, 2020 revenue, total revenue, gross, um, 2021 revenue, target goal, uh, 400,000 year to date, uh, of the video, 198, 205. So, um, we're basically six months into the year. So pretty on track for that, but write down your goals, guys. Um, there's a lot of goal setting things that I've been looking into be a podcast or books this year, uh, that I've been reading. Um, and it's, it's really elevated me and, uh, trying to do 400,000 with just one employee, uh, is, is definitely a challenge in the service industry. Um, as many of you probably know, uh, but that's what we're going to try to do this year. All right, guys, so before we hop into these numbers, I just want to be, do a big disclaimer. This is what I've done. These are my numbers. It could be different in your state. I'm not going to have sales tax on the vehicles or equipment because sales tax rates are different throughout the state. So take that into consideration when we talk about the debt, uh, the sales prices of the equipment and all that good stuff. Um, this is going to be for brand new equipment, uh, of course, that you can go use to save yourself thousands of dollars and pretty much put these numbers wherever you'd like. But this is going to be from like my equipment and then what I did on the side my first year in dumpster rental um, in the dumpster rental business part of my garbage business, if you will. Uh, I was these numbers I was doing with a full time job. Um, and this is with five dumpsters. Like I said, I started with one, just so you guys know, I've said that in other videos, but by the time I had five, I was getting ready to go out on my own. Um, but I was, I was typically renting about five dumpsters a week. So these are going to be in-depth numbers. Uh, so if you guys, you know, stick around to the end, you're going to get, I mean, you can read ahead. You're going to see it on the board that I have here, but I'm going to explain every number and why I think, uh, that would be, you know, the same across the country. Like I said, give or take maybe some taxes and some landfill fees. So let's hop in. 
So first off, guys, we're going to start with your costs that you're going to have. I've talked about this in other videos, but again, five dumpsters. These are five brand new dumpsters at market rate right now. Okay, it's June, July of 2021. Steel prices are way up. Uh, five dumpsters, 4500 each. If you can get them right now, stuff in the country is hard to get, so you might have to order it and wait a few months. Uh, your roll-off trailer is going to be anywhere from ten dollars to $12,000, depending on what brand you go with. So I chose uh, 11000 as a safe number. And truck, diesel, 52000 That is uh, right around the price um, before tax of, of the black, uh, gray, if you will, truck that we drive now, the single cab version of that. So total is 85000 Total investment would be $85,500 plus sales tax. And uh, we're going to assume everything with a 10% down financing um, with a 4.5% interest rate. Again, trying to do everything pretty much average across the whole country. You can put no money down, you can put 20% down, but you know, with 8,500 bucks down, uh, guys, this is where we're, where we're gonna be with our numbers. So 76,950 divided by 72 months is gonna give us that 1222 a month payment, all right? Now, a diesel truck, the nice thing about them, typically, uh, if you go with a Ram like what I have, at least when I bought it, it had a 100,000 mile five-year warranty. So for the majority, if you're going to do this part-time for a while, the majority um, of the time you own the truck, it is going to be under warranty, which is a big deal. Uh, now, revenue standpoint, I'm going to average the dumpster ticket uh, on a 15-yard dumpster or across the country at 325 per rental, anywhere from one day to seven days, depending on how your business is structured. Uh, the average dump fee and fuel cost is going to be, uh, like I said, an average of my area and within, you know, 100 miles of me, $65 uh, to dump per ton because you're only going to include one ton in the 325 rate. Anything over that, like we've said in other videos, you're going to mark up for uh, at whatever the landfill rate is or whatever you want to mark it up as. But base uh, fees is going to be 65 a ton to dump it off of your 325 as well as a $20 fuel expense it could be ten dollars uh it could be twenty two dollars but we're going to go with 20 so 85 dollars five rentals per week guys this is assuming you're working full time okay this is assuming you're dropping one on a wednesday and you do it on a three-day rental and if you have to pick it up on the weekend or you do it on a seven-day rental and you and the customer wants you to pick it up a day early you can work it around your schedule depending on what type of hours you're working okay so five rentals a week really isn't that tough once you get the good marketing down and get your name out there Expenses on that, it's going to be 425. That's going to be basically taking our 85 and multiplying it by five, uh, which is going to give you a $1,200 net, gross net per week. Um, we're going to times that by 52 weeks, assuming you do that all year long. You're going to have a $62,000, 400 uh, gross profit business. Now, you're going to have debt on that. You're also going to have insurance and you're going to have maintenance coming out of that. This is also assuming you're doing everything yourself. As you can see, we don't have a payroll number here. Now your yearly debt is going to be, of course, just twelve twenty-two uh, multiplied by twelve, and that's going to be coming out of that gross profit, bringing us down to forty-seven seven thirty-six. And then we have insurance that is going to assume commercial insurance on one pickup truck and a general liability of anywhere from um, $600 to $1,000, which on a business this small uh, is pretty typical just starting out with one vehicle and a very small revenue, depending on which uh, insurance company you're going with. Um, now, uh, 45936 is going to basically be what we're left over with. Um, and I, I assumed a $2,500 maintenance, guys. This is going to account for a couple oil changes a year. Uh, it's also going to account for tires um, going flat on the trailer, uh, your, your grease, um, basically everything you're going to need to rent five dumpsters a week and keep that trailer uh, running smoothly. Most of the time, uh, big problems are going to be under warranty on the truck. The trailer portion, most trailers have a one-year warranty, if I'm not mistaken. After that, uh, a lot of the stuff's going to be on you. Um, so $43,436 a year, guys. So I like to look at all these numbers, see it as a rental property, okay? Except you don't have tenants, you have customers. Uh, if you are doing this on the side, it is a very lucrative side hustle 
once your name is established and you have a setup. It, this could take six months to get to where you're you're constantly hitting that four to six dumpsters on average a week. So don't get discouraged if you do decide to make this investment. You have a full-time job and the first three months the phone barely rings because that's normally how it goes. Uh, I do a lot of coaching calls with people um, who say, you know, the phone's not ringing, what can I do? A lot of it, guys, is you got to keep pounding the pavement, you know, doing your Google ads, doing your Facebook ads, talking in your community to get yourself up to where you're at least renting a few dumpsters a week. Now, you go full time in this, that number could double, it could even triple with just the five dumpsters, depending on what kind of clientele you guys have. So in my opinion, guys, um, starting the dumpsters the way I did as the side hustle, side gig to my garbage business was a very safe way to go into it. Uh, my garbage business was grossing already uh, six figures and I was still working a little bit of the day job, um, just a day or two a week. So I was already making enough money to justify that, you know, 1200 bucks a month, which uh, I, I didn't finance the whole thing, but I'm, I'm just trying to, you know, explain to you if you're making 40, 50, $60,000 a year already, and you're driving a 1500 and you want to go trade it in and finance that new truck, maybe your payment jumps a hundred dollars a month from where you are, but now you can actually use it for your business and you can use it to get to the day job. Um, just seek out an accountant on how to depreciate it because there are a lot of laws around that. And I have no, um, no experience with that. You want to seek professional help on the depreciation side of it once you are using it for both. Uh, but those are just the things to think about, you know. So if you're already paying $500, $600 a month for a truck, um, you know, you could raise that payment a little bit. And now if you break the payment down, you're really, you know, financing $500 a month, 550 bucks a month extra to start this side hustle that could theoretically net you three to $4,000 a month like you saw in the numbers there once you're up and rolling. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know a lot of people like these, these deep dives into the numbers and I like doing them and explaining them to you guys, uh, like being transparent with you. It's all good info. Wish I had it when I started. Um, and as always, if you guys like these videos, like, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, as I said earlier, I am doing the, the one-on-one -on -one coaching calls through Calendly. So if you guys want to check out that, the links in the, uh, in the YouTube description and, uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.